Coffee Talk is sponsored by Mr. Roof. All right, Jordan, thank you. All right, so what age do you consider someone as officially old? Hmm, I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's a dangerous question. Easy now. Uh, I no, would not, say, uh, not for you. What? I'm just saying in general. Oh, oh, oh well, Frank likes to joke. Yeah. Okay, well. All right, old man. I'm like, yeah, you're not that far behind me, pal, so. Listen up here. All right, well, researchers <laughs> in Germany asked that question eight times to more than 14,000 people over a period of 25 years. Mm -hmm. They found the answer changed over time. Yeah, guess what? When you get a little older, mm -hmm. it, you keep pushing the number yeah. up. So at the beginning of the study, if you were in your mid-60s, they defined old as roughly maybe 71. Okay. But more recently, if you're in your mid-60s, now they're saying old age is starting around 75. You know, we're living longer, Lauren. Yes, that's we're very true. We're looking better longer. <laughs> and women <laughs> and those who were happy and in good health gave higher ages. Researchers say the higher ages given have to then have to do with their current life expectancy, mm -hmm. later retirement ages, and just overall better functioning in later years. We're living longer. Are we feeling better longer? Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I will say, so my father-in-law, he is going to be turning uh, 80 this year. And if he's watching and he doesn't turn 80 this year, I'm really sorry, but I'm pretty sure he turns 80 <laughs> this year because my husband turns 40. Anyway, he looks like he's in his mid-60s. Like really? he, good for him. yeah, he has taken really good care of himself, and you would have never guessed 80. We got, and he still acts like he's in his mid 60s. Well, he acts like he's in his 20s, but he, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But he does, he looks like he's in his 60s. We got an uncle, he's 102, he'll be turning 103 this year. Just got his driver's license renewed, yeah, still drives. That's he, awesome. he looks like he's in his like 70s, yeah, uh, plays in three bluegrass bands, Uncle Jeff, yeah, and uh, has not slowed down at all. See, he just if you don't have to, why? why that's would the thing, you? I think he just keeps going, keeps going, and he, he, uh, he says he's never drank or smoked in his life, and uh, he's attributing that to it, I guess. But he, that's good. the family has good genes, yeah. <laughs> See, good genes has to do My with it, parents too, right? Out in their 50s, yeah, so uh, I hope it doesn't mean the same. <laughs> I know. No. Sometimes I don't even know what to say when you say things like Sometimes that. I'm like, what? Out. I don't know. Okay, hey, the royal family releases a photo of Prince Louis to celebrate his sixth birthday. Can you believe it? No, I cannot. Look at Louis. He's so cute. Kate, the Princess of Wales, took the photo of their youngest child earlier this week. Who do you think he looks more like? Oh, mom I think or dad. he's a good combination. In that picture, it, he looks like mom. Okay. Yeah. We've seen us smiling there, lying on a blanket. This photo shared on uh, William and Kate's social media account. It's the first photo, by the way, released by the couple since March That's when they cute. posted a photo on X of their family. Then it was retracted by new, news organizations. That whole manipulation yeah. controversy, blah, it. blah, blah. Yeah. They're all doing fine. Oh, my. He is hilarious. I remember, and I don't <laughs> remember where, where they were, what they were doing, but she was sitting next to him. And he kept like making funny faces at her. Oh yeah. Just like your typical, he was probably <clears throat> three kid. or four at the time. And it was just like your typical like toddler or older toddler. And it's like, okay, good. They have the same problems that we do. Hey, back in the day, remember <laughs> uh, New York City Mayor at the time, uh, Rudy Giuliani. Mm -hmm. His son, Andrew, would sit there just like do crazy stuff yeah. at news conferences. You can't Kobe, help. like making fun of his dad. His dad's trying to make a serious point. Yeah. And there's Andrew stealing the show. <laughs> well. Yeah, every day. But it does, it kind of brings you back to reality a little bit and you're like no they're kids and they don't care that they're on national tv kids or if they're being, being watched worldwide they could care less they no just say hey what is my dad even talking about <laughs> what is my mom doing is dad, what i'm bored that's uh, what that's going yeah. through their heads sometimes you wish you could go back to that and just not care right <laughs> just to be sitting there I and be you like get older you approach that same thing yeah i guess the filters you're right. are gone yeah <laughs> <laughs> so true i always get nervous when we go out to eat with my grandma because i never oh. know what she's going to say because she is just an open book she's from new york she's very um what's the word that i'm looking for uh, loquacious yes <laughs> and she just says it how it is yeah. i love it i think yeah. it's hilarious some people are, get a little offended well you know, it happens <laughs> yeah all right hey the flying pig right around the corner yeah. are you ready for it uh i'm not running it but i'll be cheering you on okay good sure. thanks i appreciate that we're going to talk with iris simpson bush about america's best marathon of course it's right here in the queen yeah. city after this